welcome back to press sex for chromosomes where we are heading back into the marrow the he said some of it's stabilized so maybe some of those broken passageways are now open yeah but they're still gonna be filled with fucking things and stuff probably which i don't want to deal with i don't want more fucking gas mask areas it's a new chapter so therefore everyone's respond right yeah everyone i just don't like I don't like that. Mm-mm. I don't like that people respond, but you know, I get it for gameplay reasons and for like leveling up and shit like that. I get it. Apparently, it's not as bad as shit spawning in the first one, right? But like, and I don't like the gas mask sections. I think it's mm-hmm. unnecessary and very. I mean, it kind of detracts from the entire experience, right? I'm not playing Outlast. <laughs> so, uh, I wonder. I wonder if you can. Uh, just stack as many of them as possible so like if you don't clear them out Mm -hmm. and just like constantly keep spawning and spawning and spawning and spawning and spawning more yeah maybe i don't know did o'neill want us to check back in with him or did he just be like go to here i think he just was like go to here but let's look at our shit oh go nope go through yeah so where is that operative? Yeah, that's what I was gonna fucking check out. Oh, looks like he might be down here. Ammo pouch. Oh, he's probably in there. More than likely. Lily. Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Well, there's a lot of goodies in there. I'm the green, right? Yes. It's really hard to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fan. Uh-uh. Like, it seems like you've almost had it, like, three times now. I don't know if that... Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know if that was a game or... I want to say it was real life, but... Fucking be be cool, game. I'm not sure how this works still. And it keeps like in right, certain it, areas. It vibrates once you get close, right? Yeah. But it vibrates for such a split second, right? That's hard to tell. You know. Yeah, it looks like your frequency is off. Fucking, I don't know. The frequency is how many there are. Mm. Amplitude's the height. This is just my brain does not want to process this whatsoever. It's hard. It's very hard to see. Yeah. This is the game. And my like fingers keep slipping off. Right. That is a pain in the ass during like fucking uh time trials for Crash. Mm-hmm. Because oh, my thumb will constantly slip because you pushing forward almost constantly mm-hmm. so it's just like and there goes my thumb and there goes the time trial <laughs> there, there you go. go fucking christ takes for fucking ever <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> there's his face <laughs> I'm crouching too now. I wasn't crouching before. But I think I had pressed down while so doing that. It clenched yeah. so much. High grade weapon parts? Yeah. Oh, well, at least goo. Now I can upgrade one thing. And hey, harpoon. 
No, it's not a metal pipe. Well, yeah, but you use metal pipes to make a harpoon. Oh, yeah. I haven't used my actual, like, harpoon harpoons for a while. Oh, I have an mm-hmm. axe, too, which is nice. Yeah, you pulled it out of the trash. So when I... <laughs> yeah, I did. So when I inevitably come across something I don't want to deal with... You just smack it. Yeah. I like how it's just fucking holes to nowhere. Right? Operative. Found you. Give me that pouch. Upgrade me, please. I just love, Mm. like, hearing you move and then just your, like, joint popping. Oh, yeah. I don't fucking hear it anymore. (laughs) Tonk. It's such a fucking fact of life. (laughs) Oh. You know what? I don't want to deal with you. Shut up. She had normal eyes for about two seconds. Oh, she did? Yeah, and then the fucking red blinked in. And now she fucking is headless. Yep. So she's like, mm. um, oh, oh, it was like how? Yeah. Hope. So I, I for whatever <laughs> reason, um, I crouched like at work or I, I actually think it was at work. So at work, like I, I just I crouched down and that kind of stuff, and my knees were just popping all over the place. Mm-hmm. And the person who was sitting next to me was like, "Do your knees always do that?" And all <laughs> I was, I was yeah, like, Doug. "Yeah, that's what happens when you get slightly older." You're, it's right. like, you're not even that old and just your joints are like eh. pop yeah like I'm sure my weight does not help either if only I could get two for what bullshit shut up Ugh, remember the time where we had a chaser goop? Chaser goop? Chase our goop. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Chaser goop? Yeah, when, um... Was that in this game? Yeah. When it fucking was, like, rolling around? Yeah, when it, like, fell off the, the top of the grate. I vaguely <laughs> remember that. <laughs> I, I found it again while I was editing and just laughed. <laughs> and we were like, no, come back. <laughs> You were like, God damn it. And you like snuck your way down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... So our communicator did change because that's definitely not the one that was on Sebastian's boat before. Yeah, better communicator. Mm. Well, I think I'm just going to not make any more until I get to a crafting table. Yeah. I don't like wasting more material than I need to. I don't like how that's lit up down there. Yeah. Ominous. We have lights at every corner. I can't go through this one. I don't think. Can? Nope. It looks like you can interact with it. Kind of. But, like, that's... Especially in this game, a typical lockdown. Right. That is nice, though, that, like, the doors that you can't get in do have the Mobius yeah. thing on it. it. Reminds me of some, like, show I've watched at some point. This part? No. What the, the that Mobius like thing? I might have been oh. thinking of the new Planet of the Apes, or no, I might be thinking of the Last of Us because I think they also had shit like that over their doors. Do they? If you couldn't go in, this looks like SCP. Yeah, this is a uh, quick environment change. This also looks like inside a little bit, <laughs> but like not cutely rendered. Fucking gonna turn into a giant blob monster and... Hey, here's our milk friend. Yeah, and it's pulsating. I don't like it. Oh, it makes it slow. Gonna continue to walk around it. Okay, why are we going here? Thank you for this. Fucking stop stepping in the glue, Sebastian. Let's go. Lose your shoe if you have to. God damn it. I'm like a fucking idiot. This reminds me of the fucking Resident Evil when, uh... Oh, when Ada's, like... Yeah, fake Ada's ev- taking over. Yeah, gooping everything. Also kind of vaguely, uh, Resident Evil 7. Yes. When the fucking... Oh, there's a people. There's a people? There's a people right in front of, like, it... Nope, okay. It looked like a people. I mean, I think it was a people. I feel like... Man, come on. Stop spooking. Don't 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 be this way. Hey. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death. 
Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. You know what? No. I, I kind of am on her side. Yeah, I, if if he refused to support you and shit like that, I mean, there's a certain length, like, but like, still, like, if he refused to support you and believe you, like, even like humor you, then like, uh, yeah. dude, we might have to go our separate ways. Also, the way he was dismissing her was very reminiscent of the psychologist dismissing Sebastian. Yeah, drink your own poison. Yeah, he probably fucking. Parrots that shit. Armchair psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> I like how like walking over the bubbles and everything doesn't bother him. No, but it's the, the fucking giant milk puddles that bother him. Yeah, but if it's in puddle form, no. No. Nah. None of that shit on my shoe. These are Air Jordans. <laughs> they tell you about the shoe, my fucking I don't like anything that has No. To be. But they tell you about the shoes my boss <laughs> Come on, where are these choices? Okay, well, that's a hole, so that's a choice. But uh, my boss showed up to his house at one point and fucking... Because my, my boyfriend lives with fucking... It rooms with his boss. Right. For clarification for everyone else. But he shows up with these shoes that, like, tie themselves, essentially. He just pushes a button and they like, And it's like... I'm like, what is this, Back to the Future? You no, know, seriously, that's my first like, thought. Yeah, and like, how do you undo them? He's like, um, that part we're still figuring out. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm like, you didn't like ask like a store associate. So he's gonna be sleeping with those shoes on for like ten years. <laughs> right. What the fuck? That's not even that scary. It's just weird. No, I'm not scared. What the fuck? I Don't drop your shit around. No. Where? It's gonna slow us down the minute we fucking walk in that shit. Is there anything to the right? Yeah, I can kind of walk over there. Right. Oh, frame rate got a little janky. I forgot how to fucking... <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. I forgot how to do things. So that's why I haven't gone yet. Right. No, no. S what What are you- Sebastian! The fuck? He got stuck in the goddamn pallet. How do you fucking- Okay, game. Yeah, well, Seriously. because fucking I'm pressing the goddamn button. You know what? It's okay. Bye. Whatever. Goodbye. Hey, I said goodbye. Is this not where you're supposed to go? Not apparently where I'm supposed to go. Whatever. Hey! Barely hurt. Just hey. a flesh wound. Hey. Ooh. What's this? <laughs> I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. Working on it. All right. That was a doozy. I like how it's milk arms were coming out of just how do the normal I floor. Fucking take cover. I don't think you can take cover on those. The little arrow's not appearing. Well, no, but there. Yeah. Guess what button I pressed? That, that exact same button. And you fucking freaked out and then kept standing up like a goddamn idiot. God, this game sucks on certain gameplay levels. It fucking infuriates me. I really wonder if the fucking the palette lip that was sticking out like an inch. What? Why did I get a fucking vault deck? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, this is a Bethesda game. Oh, <laughs> I right. literally had a second okay. where I was like, "What the? F did they make a deal with fucking Bethesda?" And I'm like, "Wait, they are <laughs> Bethesda." Okay. I, mm hmm. Yes, I did. Interesting. What if this is all a vault? <laughs> Fallout. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. <laughs> so weird. 
I, I honestly, I'd be like, no, okay. <laughs> the ending of this is just for the new Fallout game. Yeah, I'd be it's like, one sure. giant trailer. <laughs> Excuse you. I was about to leave. I'm gonna have to fight floaty head thing. Couple shots, and he's like, no! Not my eyeballs! Not hurt! Mm -hmm. It was going on the post for so long that it forgot true pain. I shot, I did like two pot shots, and it was like, no. Casual. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. Just because it's stable doesn't mean that it's, you know, correct. Ooh. <laughs> Just because it's stable doesn't mean it's correct. What do like yeah equals with a like cross sign through it? Destruction is spread all the way down here too. Don't know how long this place is gonna last. They are not synonymous with each other. <laughs> you know what? That was the best my brain could put together. I no, 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 it works. I completely got what you're going for. At it was least just fucking I'm not silly. At least I'm not saying that. Our survival has increased bigly. Bigly? <laughs> I was watching. I was bigly watching, smalls. <laughs> I was watching. No joke. I was watching a YouTuber, and he was like, "Yeah, the chances of success have increased bigly." And I was like, "Okay, I know you're playing a game, but you could have come up with something a little bit better than bigly." Bigly smalls, dude. This one was way easier. Yay. I think the smaller frequency help, or the, the it was it was just clearer to see. It yeah. wasn't so fucking like whoa. It yeah. should have like started me off on that shit. When they're big, I think that's when it becomes really confusing. Yeah. Record report five thirty two displacement protocols R E emergency core displacement protocols. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over thirty six hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operators with Alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Mero servers. So, so the core can literally run away. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Fucking a little kid's gonna run away as fast as they fucking can. No wonder why you can't find her. Well, I mean, isn't his daughter like the core? Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. They're fucked. They hide in small places, too. Exactly. The fortunate thing about that, though, kids aren't smart. So they hide in stupid, very obvious places. Very true. Which is probably why Stefano was able to find her under the goddamn fucking... Yeah, gee, she's not in here, but I saw her go in here. I wonder where she is. Let's look under the desk. <laughs> okay, what are we going to see on this? Hopefully is that the, the milk room in the bottom left? Goop. 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 That was a stupid way to make your logo of, like, an official... Right. Like, let's make it look sinister as fuck. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they're not like a great corporation. Don't Excuse me. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! Don't say a word. Whoa, stop being loud. No, I'm not. One of us. us. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? It's gonna be Kim in 2.0. Do it slow. It'd be interesting if it was. Or Myra. But Myra's blonde. She's black haired. Hair dye. Hey, it's the Asian lady. Yeah. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? How did you get that persona? You. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I will say it's still weird having his daughter's name be Lily. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm still like, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'm you. <laughs> it me. Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. Did she just turn on the lights? Oh, yeah. You you're the truth. Right. Hey, you're the new Joseph. The team psychologist. We traded one Asian for, for another. another Asian. As insensitive as that sounds, it's literally what it. just happened. And she's got a white shirt on, too. F quick, throw her in some water. However, she has actually, like, a vest. Yeah. And it looks like a thicker shirt than just like a, like a, like a dress shirt, yeah. 
But he had like a vest on too. But like like so a, like, a, like, a, like a like a like a dress shirt vest. Right. That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? Yeah, a couple are dead. Have, but the only one I found alive is O'Neal. Liam is alive? Good. I'm waiting for someone being like, Liam's alive? Damn Fuck. it. Yeah. <laughs> being like, he's useless. Or literally be like, being like, I mean, he has uses, but fuck. Oh, like, why him? Like, yay, but uh. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho and pejorative terms. Oh my god. Dude, a writer just like looked up in a book and was like, yeah. <laughs> Armchair doctor. Power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit oh, distant really? tendencies. As if everybody in the world did not know that. Pathologic egocentricity. Especially because, like, if you watch any crime drama, uh, that's, uh, that's like one of the first like the things first they thing hang you see. on. Yeah. yeah. Some sort of like the first two seconds of a crime show. This is what psychopaths are. Thanks. <laughs> Especially if it's that shit's criminal minds. Yeah, right. And then they and then they use the fucking term that's fucking uh where they fucking psychoanalyze you. I can't remember what it's called actually right now. Where they're like I, I profile? Yeah, they profile. They always use the profile term. They're like oh, yeah. we're profiling. Him. And I'm like, you guys, it's like one person found that word and just decided to stick with it. <laughs> this is what cops say, right? Profile. Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But I like how she has a stethoscope around her. I did not notice that. <laughs> it seems kind of silly. Like, what? No! And then you fucking run up while they're bleeding out in the bed. I'm like, I can hear your heart. I saw a coffee pot in the background. Oh, yeah. I saw, excited. like, a water cooler, too. I've been, I've fucking been catching all the office things in this little room. Maybe. But what will happen when I find Gotta have water with your coffee. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees So much water that there's no coffee left in her coffee. That's kind of coffee. <laughs> no coffee. <laughs> individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement, and we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah, well that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy <laughs> are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I hope to vise those tests. Well, you can't be perfect. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case... I also like the concept of her stethoscope. Like, she's gonna have to get through all the fucking body armor <laughs> to hear their heartbeat in the first place. <laughs> Seriously? The dissolution of union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. You mentioned someone before. Another also, can you tuck power. your, like, hair behind your ears? It kind of annoys me because it's super stringy. It's too horrible yeah. to contemplate. What? And, like, in her face right there. Like, just, do you, some hair is tucked behind your ears, why not? Oh. Right? Also, that would bug me. Fucking get that shit out of my oh, face. Oh, yeah. Like, there's a reason why I kind of, uh, Gina hey! does my hair, and then I kind of fucking do it differently. Right. Because, like, I fucking keep this, like, she likes it, like, kind of on the sides, and I'm like, eh, I like it up a little bit more yeah. because it feels nicer and also kind of brings out my face a little bit more. I don't look like my face is so scrunched. <laughs> like a pug. Like a pug. Alright, email core candidates uh, to all concerned from Operative Grism. 
RE Lily Castellanos initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types, egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, <laughs> so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel we found the ideal core candidate, Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she is not only a guile, has a guileless ego, but also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Yeah, fucking nothing about how convenient that, you know, it's the passions kid who was already fucking around in the goddamn other psychopathic. Did those boxes just get like a... F- what? No, it must have just been your flashlight. I thought they had like the resonance, like blackness on them for a second. Break, yeah. But I mean, even if uh this was like orchestrated, they probably sent him into Rubik's thing on purpose. Then, eh, maybe it sounds like that was after. But Beacon was after Lily, quote unquote, died in the fire. No, it wasn't. I thought that happened in between because um, that's why he's not freaking out in like the second game or something like that, I thought. Or in the first game. I thought it happened in between. Well, because like I said, the their whole, like, I don't know, well, at least that made it sound like that's all, all takes place after. Because they're like, fucking, remember, remember the last time we just had like a legit psychopath? Right. That's why we want a kid now. And all the school documents say Lily is the one that we want. Right. So that's why it's like, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Most stories we got a fucking slide to watch, and I want some goop from you, cat, so you better fucking pay up. Uh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty... I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. Shut up, Kidman. You knew about this. (laughs) Piece of shit. (laughs) There's no way you can know. But you did. I wonder. Yoink, thank you. I wonder if Leslie is ever gonna play a part in this. Yeah, what happens to Leslie? Um, presumably, mm-hmm. the theory is is that they uh, the Ruva took over Leslie's mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and ran off. Oh, cool. Her. I just I like that. I I like the uh picture. The photo of him. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's no, a, that's I like a, it too. It's a good picture, dude. I yeah. I'm Where's gonna tell him boy. That. Huh? Where's our vault boy? Oh, do you think they'd be in here? It said something about his room. There he is. Hey. That's a big shelf. We got a lot more to find. Vault boys or I don't know, maybe other they could be... other knickknacks. Both Keep that shit open. Hey cat, you belong in that shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is a good place to stop, so I'll catch you guys in the next episode of We Uh Continue. Yeah. So until then, bye! bye.